What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya, and in today's lesson, we're going to focus on inversion. It's a super useful grammar structure that will stand you in good stead when taking your GAE and CPE exams. Are you ready? So take a notebook and let's kick off. So I'd like to start by saying that you can use inversion both in your speaking and writing exams, and it can also come up in the use of English part. You should definitely try to use this structure as it will give you some extra points when taking your C1 and C2 exams. So first of all, what's the purpose of inversion? It's to add emphasis to your sentence. And what's the formula? You need to invert the subject and the verb or auxiliary verb. For example, not only was the hotel dirty, but also expensive. First, the verb to be, and then the subject. Was the hotel. In the present and past simple, we need to use do, does, did, plus subject, plus main verb. For example, not only did I like Australian wildlife, but also its friendly people. Not only did I like. And when do we use inversion? Let's look at 10 situations. The first case is after negative adverbial expressions. For example, after not only, not until, never, no sooner, not or nowhere. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, not only is my mom generous, but also optimistic. The second one, not only did he forget to attend the meeting, but also to phone the client. Another example, not until you start traveling, do you become open-minded. Number four, not until days later did I realize my faux pas. Five, never had I thought that something like this could have happened. Number six, never have I had such a delicious meal. Number seven, no sooner had I sat down than the phone rang. So after no sooner, you have to use then. No sooner had I sat down than the phone rang. So remember to use then after no sooner. Number eight, no sooner had I left home than it started raining. Actually, it has just stopped raining. Number nine, not a single day was spent without doing sport. Number 10, not a single apology was made. 11, nowhere could I find toilet paper and hand sanitizer. And the last one, nowhere can you enjoy food as much as in Spain. And now let's move on to our second case when we use inversion. And it's after only plus a time expression. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, only after finishing her exam could she relax. Number two, only later did I realize my mistake. Another example, only once have I been to this restaurant. Number four, only then can you open it. Number five, only when you move abroad do you realize how much you love your home country. Number six, only by luck did I get to the concert on time. Number seven, only in this way will you be able to improve your English. And the last example, only if you have difficulty breathing should you go to the hospital. Let's continue the third case when we can use inversion is after time adverbs. And now some examples. The first one, seldom do they fail to meet a deadline. The second example, rarely do I eat meat. Another example, hardly had I got into bed when the fire alarm went off. Number four, barely did I sleep last night. And the last example, scarcely had we set off when it started raining. Let's move on to our case number four. We use inversion after a preposition plus no. And now let's look at some examples. 
The first one, at no time are you allowed to smoke in here. The second example, in no way am I going to stand this attitude. Another example, on no account are you allowed to leave your house. And one more example, under no circumstance can you give up. Let's continue. Number five, we use inversion after little. And now two examples. The first one, little did we know how quickly the coronavirus would spread. And one more example, little did I know what was going to happen at the party. And now let's move on to our case number six, which is so and such plus an adjective. And now two examples. The first one, so loud was the music that he phoned the police. And one more example, such is uncertainty that we have no choice but to live from day to day. Let's move on to our case number seven. We use inversion after neither, nor, and so. And now some examples. The first one, I didn't feel like going out and neither did my friends. The second example, I didn't remember to invite her to the party, nor did he. And the last example, he'll do his best and so will we. Number eight, we invert words after here and there. And now two examples. The first one, here goes the lesson. And another example, there's the restaurant. Okay, second to last case, we use inversion after had it not been for. And now some examples. The first one, had it not been for your help, I couldn't have achieved my goal. And the last example, had it not been for him, I wouldn't have got on time. And last but not least, we can use inversion in conditionals instead of if clause. And now two examples. The first one, should you need more information, don't hesitate to call me. And the last example, had you told me, I would have helped you. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this English bit and found it useful. In order to get some practice, you can make one sentence using inversion and leave it in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like this video as it's super motivating and inspiring, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram. Guys, stay safe. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!